Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and I am here with a Timu haul for you today. So let's get started. We'll do a couple things and then we'll start to talk. Because really this is talk, this is like talk, what would you call it? Talk TV, talk radio, except that you can see me. Where do I want it? Let's start up here. All right, I have been seeing ever since I started buying from Timu, I have been seeing all of the different spoons that they have with cute little sayings on them. So I finally bit the bullet and ordered one and am sorely disappointed. So here is drink tea, read books, be happy. Now I am disappointed because this is not engraved. It's just printed on the spoon and it's a rough spoon, which I can, I can handle the roughness of the spoon. Um, cause I would, I'm only going to be using it for stirring. And this actually is the preferred, my preferred spoon of choice. I prefer using these. I have a bunch of these kind of spoons only in my regular silverware set but I'm not happy about it being printed on there because I feel like in the pictures it looks engraved maybe not but I feel like it does I may have a hard time finding this one because this one was one oh there it is I was gonna say this is one of the outliers that didn't just come in the mail but I found it I paid 79 cents. Oh, it says it's engraved. Err, it's not. It's not. I'm touching it and it's not engraved. But it's only 79 cents, so I'm not going to send it back. But um, I got one price adjustment. Oh, sure. It's been <laughs> discontinued. Well, perhaps that's because people complained that it wasn't really engraved. Now they do have other ones. So I'll link to one of these other ones that says one piece, happy time tea with engraved spoon, perfect gift for friends and family. And okay. It's got little hearts above it too, but yeah, I mean, it says it's engraved and this one said it was engraved also. And it is not. So, so yeah, it's not as cool as I thought it would be. And unfortunately now this makes me hesitant to buy any of the other cool spoons that they have. But this kind of reminds me of Jason got a kind of like a challenge coin and from Timu and it was like this too where it was just printed printed on there okay well that's okay it still works as a spoon it doesn't matter that it's not engraved ultimately it's probably better that it's not engraved because then the engraved part would probably get kind of weird all right next we've got some earrings And I thought these were cute. Just some light bulb earrings. And they are fish hook, but some of us need still need backs for fish hook earrings. And they do not come with any. So you need to use your own. So that's a decent size. And this was a holdover too, so let me see if I can easily find it. Maybe in here. If it's not okay, if I come across it, I'll I'll let you know, but it it wouldn't have been 
most of the earrings I get are in the 99 cent store on Timu. So my guess is that it would have been cheap like that too. Okay. So this, this episode, I was, I was going to wear the flannel thing that I got in the last episode, but I'm kind of hot now. So I didn't put it on. And my daughter was giving me a hard time for changing outfits between episodes She's like, nobody cares about that. And I'm like, yes, we do. <laughs> we want to see different outfits. So I apologize. The only thing I changed was my glasses. And I figured I would, since I've been wearing the green ones a lot, I would come in and wear the orange ones for this. I could have worn, I could have worn the pumpkin ones, I guess, but whatever. But yeah, so I have a link in the description below to my referral code for Pear Eyewear. I'm not sponsored. I just love them so, so much. And if you click on that referral link, it'll take you to their website and then you can learn all about uh, all about them. And I will also in the description below have the link to all of the products that we are going to see in this episode. So I was telling you guys, I would tell you a little bit more about my the visit with my mom's doctor. She's concerned, I mentioned before about um, her wandering off, that kind of thing. And in my mind, I'm thinking we need to put a, a different lock on the doors that she cannot open. And that sounds bad. It sounds like you're trapping her in there then, but it would really only be locked it's, it's like you would do for toddlers, right? Um, something that either needs a key to unlock from the inside or a number pad or something that wouldn't be activated during the day so that she could still go outside and, you know, do stuff in the yard and that kind of thing. But at least if, if she got disoriented at night, she couldn't get out. So that was one of the things. And then, of course, her safety and my dad's safety are still important. So it's important that she doesn't hurt him because people with dementia, Alzheimer's, get frustrated. And sometimes they do lash out. She's occasionally kind of backhanded him, like his, like his arm and stuff. But, you know, he's going to be 75 this year, so... She, he, she doesn't need, he doesn't need that, you know, so it's, you know, they're, we're going to have somebody come in from a local agency kind of situation to do an evaluation to see what kind of the next steps should be. All right, next I got this ring, super pretty. I think it's just a zircon, um, but it's a two carat ring. This one, that's, that's why I'm saying I don't know. This one doesn't have a size mentioned, but it's bigger than this one. But look how shiny. So I've already, this is my new one that I just got a few hauls ago. And it's already a little bit cloudier than this brand new one. Although this one has probably got a better cut. I mean, look how sparkly that is. And it's not even moissanite. And it's got a kind of a tapered band and so this I can wear with this I can take this pull this out and slide this in and they have lots of different ones of those um, kind of guard kind of type rings so then I could put that in and it this one this this one we're showing here today, it's got really nice prongs. So, you know, you can definitely mix and match these rings. Or, you know, if you're getting engaged, you could it could be your engagement ring. I'm telling you what, pe nobody knows, when I wear these, nobody knows they're not real. Uh, they do tarnish, of course, but you can... So somebody asked me if the gel coating works on this kind of thing. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but they always used to tell us to 
use clear nail polish on rings that you didn't want to tarnish to kind of uh, keep them from tarnishing. And I feel like gel would be the pièce de résistance kind of thing with that because it would be hard and it would not be as easy to chip away, I would think, as regular nail polish. So I don't know. So I haven't tried it yet, but when I do, that's what I'm going to try. So, but yeah, you can interchange these. But yeah, nobody knows these are fake rings. And unfortunately, my real wedding ring is now too big. So I am stuck wearing these kind of rings um, as my wedding ring. But they are so pretty. Now they do have moissanite versions of these on Timu, which are would pro well they probably local warehouse now have even more. You can probably get more expensive ones, but why? I don't think you'd need a more expensive one. I mean these. I mean don't. I mean Walmart used to sell. I say this all the time, so I apologize for repeating. But Walmart used to sell and probably still does sell wedding sets with super tiny solitaires because they were real, of course. But if you're, if you're the kind of person that doesn't really care about, I don't want to say that you don't care about quality, but if it doesn't matter to you, if you have a real diamond, then go for this. This is such a great deal. I personally, it's nice that I have a real diamond on my real wedding ring that I can't wear now, but it doesn't, like I'm not the kind of person that if I went and had it tested and found out it wasn't real, would, well, I would care because I, 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 when we bought it, we bought it from an actual jeweler. So yeah, I would care. I would feel cheated, but you know, the store, you know, you see on TV shows where, where the guy gets a fake you know, um, black market diamond for his fiance and it's fake and she finds out and she's like, Oh, that's terrible. Like that, that doesn't matter to me. I don't know. I know it matters to some people, but yeah, it doesn't matter to me. So heck yeah, I'm going with these bigger stones and it's not so big that it's like gaudy or obviously fake, right? I don't know. I, I like harp on that with you guys. <laughs> like I'm trying to sell you on these rings and I just love them. Okay. Where is this one? Oh, there it is. Okay. I paid a whopping $1.85 for this and got a price adjustment. It is available in sizes 5 to 11. I got a 7 because my wedding ring is now a size 7. And it's currently $1.79. So see for this, once I start wearing this or once it starts to tarnish, I'll just get another one. So that's why I haven't, the only regret I have is my owl ring that I didn't do that with. The, the polishing of it. But I do still have a couple owl, owl rings that I haven't worn ever, so I will polish those. But yeah, there, there will always be a ring like this on Timu for cheap. So it doesn't really, I don't really feel the need to polish this one. But it is an elegant two carat round cut engagement ring, silver tone, classic design, perfect for everyday wear and weddings. So if you were someone, like I used to be someone who lived paycheck to paycheck, you can still have a nice ring. All right. Next, um, let's do this. That's still sticky. Usually when I open these, it like totally tears the tape off. 
Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. This, oh. Galaxy Star Bracelet. So I guess it's supposed to look like the galaxy or the moon and the stars. This is really pretty, you guys. So get a bunch of these beads that kind of mimic space and moon. So you have a bunch of those, and then what is this? What is going on here? I can't tell if this is tangled or if it's supposed to be like that. Okay, it's not, it's not tangled, so it's supposed to be like that. And is this, okay, it's elastic. I don't understand why that's like that though. I don't know. But anyway, so you've got all those and then you've got this special one that's would be what, Saturn? Maybe. And then some that are just, and you've got some star beads. And what we have dangling. Oh, we've got another kind of moon-like dangle. And the other one is a star. So yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, I don't understand that. It's almost like, you know, some of those charm bracelets have, you know, the thing to keep the beads from coming off, but I don't really understand I don't understand what it's doing here, but it's still pretty. I mean, that's not going to keep, and I can, if it bugs me enough, I can take it off with my own jewelry, uh, jewelry stuff. But maybe you know what the purpose of this is, and I just don't. But yeah, it's pretty. I like that. I like when they're elastic so that you don't have to have a special um, thing to get it on. But so then would, would you wear this so this is hanging down here or would you have it hanging down this way? I never know. I never know the right way to wear bracelets. Okay, I paid 34 cents for this beautiful bracelet. And it is currently a dollar seventeen. Wow, so that it's like three hundred percent increase of that price. Um, it is a blue beaded star charm adjustable bracelet. Adjustable bracelet. Well, maybe that's just because it's on the elastic. Handcrafted gift for her. They do show, yeah, they do show it like that. So that's just part of the design. And yeah, it's, it's pretty. I love it. I mean, I really do like, I really do like the colors on this. Now, Once I start getting down here, I can see, you know, the space on it. So I don't know what that means size-wise, you know, how big of a wrist it'll fit on without showing gaps. But, and I don't have any idea what size wrist I have. All I know is that the one time I got to do Gona, I ordered a, the, a size too small. <sighs> but that's okay. Those beads still work on other things. All right. Next, let's just get all the small stuff out of the way first. Oh, we've got another cross necklace. This one's on a leather cord. And it's got an extender. And it's kind of a bronzy, coppery kind of look. That's really pretty kind of a hammered 
a hammered look. And then the back looks like that. Kind of looks like wood, kind of. I'll get this put on. I like when there's the extender so you can make them as short or as long as you need. Yeah, I like that. So, also we talked about, you know, what does my mom eat? Is she losing weight or gaining weight? She really isn't losing or gaining weight. And my dad mentioned that she likes eating food that she can open, like tear open. So she eats those one bars and ensure shakes and Atkins shakes. But she likes the one bars because she can open them. Kind of like a kid, maybe. I don't know. But he will find multiple bars in various states of being eaten throughout the house each day because she forgets she's opened one or... And he also finds multiple um, cups of coffee, multiple shakes. And so when he finds them, he just, well, if it's a shake, he closes it back up and puts it in the fridge. Or if it's a bar, puts it back where they keep the bars. But, um, so yeah, I thought that was interesting. You know, likes having food that you can peel open. So because of that, she also likes bananas. <laughs> kind of, I mean, you have to laugh. You have to take the laughs where you can, right? But, um. My dad will cook like one of the meals that they have during the day and she'll kind of pick at it. But the doctor wasn't too concerned because she's, those one bars are high in protein and stuff. So she's still getting nutrients. But um, yeah, so then the, uh, the rest of that meeting was kind of, you know, when we have the evaluation, they will help. At some point, she's going to need help. She she probably needs help now with hygiene because uh, you really can't force her to take a shower or that kind of thing. But the doctor's like, well, you can make suggestions like, hey, we're going to go here. Let's shower, you know, to get ready. You go first kind of thing. You can set out clean clothes for her to wear. Because she likes opening things, we're going to... Dad had bought you know, kind of those wet wipe kind of things that, you know, they have for adults and stuff that um, he's going to see if maybe she'd like to use those as kind of a hygiene thing. Um, she does still brush her teeth and stuff, but, but yeah, she's not been to like the hairdresser for a long time and she always had short hair. So I think that's kind of bothering my dad because she doesn't look like herself as much anymore now that her hair is getting longer and she never liked long hair either so but she has no has no desire to go um to the hairdresser nor have my dad cut her hair and um I should show you guys a picture because I've told you guys that he used to cut my hair and like Dorothy Hamill was popular I should show you guys a picture that he posted on Facebook for daughter's day this is like the first time either of my parents has ever posted anything for that because my dad was never on facebook but now that my mom and my mom once she was on she really wasn't able to uh, but i should show you a picture but um but yeah so those are the kind of things so we're hoping that when the people come out to kind of do a self-evaluation i want them to be able to age in their house for as long as possible uh, my dad is still, he's going to be 75, but he's still completely fit, rides his bike, um, is a healthy weight. I mean, all that stuff. So I really don't want him to have to leave the house before he wants to, even if it does mean she has to leave before him. But I think he, I think he feels like when she leaves, he should leave with her because till death do you part, you know, that kind of idea but by the time she's ready to leave, she's not going to, she, he's not her husband anymore at that point. So I don't want him to sacrifice his style of living. You know what I'm saying? 
I want him to be able to stay in the house as long as as long as he wants to. Now, if he just really doesn't want to, then that's fine, obviously. But I don't know. I just I we need she needs to be. We need to recognize that the person we knew is not there anymore. Her body is there, but her her personality and stuff is not there anymore. So it's like, don't make huge life decisions. I don't know. I don't know. I, I understand why he wants to stay with her. I would want to stay with Jason too, if we were in that boat. But okay. I looked up the bracelet. We haven't looked at anything since the bracelet, have we? Sorry, I'm getting, it's like now that I'm talking, because this is talk TV, I'm like wanting to make sure I didn't miss something. If I did, it'll be linked in the description below. All right, next, I got another pack of shirts. This one looks like it has an actual really red shirt. And these are the soft polyester, which is nice. And these look like a V-neck. Oh, and these actually came with moisture control, but here we've got a V-neck. Oh, short sleeve shirt. No, no, it's not. It's long sleeve. I prefer a V-neck, but it seems like those are hard to find. So yeah, so we'll have a red, um, red, <coughs> black, and white. So you guys saw me haul a red, gray, and black turtlenecks on the last episode. But this one we've got red, white, and black. I paid eleven seventy eight for three, which seems like a great price. It is still eleven seventy eight. I got them in one XL, but it comes in sizes zero XL to four XL. And this one does have different color combination options. So in addition to the red, white, and black, there's also red, gray, and black, or just three black. But the red, white, and black is $11.78. The red, gray, and black is $17.49. And the three blacks is $16.44. So that's why I got the one I got because it was cheap and I needed, I wanted to have a variety and I wanted a white one. I didn't have a white one yet, but it's a three pack plus size V neck long sleeve t-shirts, three pack casual tops for spring and fall women's clothing. All right. Then I also... Why did I do this? Well, I know why I did it, and I'll tell you why. I ordered another set of these socks, these fuzzy socks, which I really like, but these are the ones that come in a random colors, and they show you, well, they show you all the colors that you might get, and my last batch was very similar to this, but not exactly... I mean, I got a lot of these colors in the last batch, but I don't think I got this one. And this was one of the ones I was trying to get, so okay, good. The last one, I know I had two blacks, and this one, it looks like I've got two purples and two greens. I, I feel like if they're going to do a random assortment, they should at least still be one, like, no duplicate colors. Now, obviously, that's not what random is. Random is literally just picking up probably the first ten you see. But I wish that you didn't get duplicates because I think they've got 20 colors available for these. Okay, I paid $764. I got one price adjustment. Oh, sure. And now it's sold out. Ugh. And I'm not... I'm not seeing another one that's got the random nature of it. <laughs> Doggone it. 
Okay, so there's a teeny tiny picture with it, you know, with the sold out. And there were colors like reds and pinks and corals and stuff. And those were the ones I was hoping I'd get some of. But I bet you, I bet you these were the all the colors they had. And they were just switch bait, you know, and there was no way to get some of those other colors. So they also had some deep purples and um, orange and stuff. And yeah, I didn't get any of those in either pack. So yeah, I... I thought, well, let me try ordering it one more time because I do really like the socks. I guess I should get get one out so I can at least show you. These are great for wearing with boots, but they're super fuzzy and soft inside and out. It does have an elastic band. If you struggle with diabetes, you could fold it under so that you're getting that elastic band more at your ankle instead of up your leg but yeah they're really really soft so I'm I'm not upset about having more socks I'm just wishing that I would have gotten been able to get more of the color variety but if you're wearing them in boots nobody can see it anyway it's just when I would be wearing other shoes that it might show all right well I think are we down to we might be down no. I was like, I think we're down to the last thing, but no, I've got this. So you can get your laughs out now. I decide, hey, stop eating that. No, 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 no. Peanut is trying to eat the jewelry bags. They're sitting under the table. Stop it. She's like sniffing around. Okay, are you done? So I, you know, I've been getting wigs and stuff. Well, then I I decided to go ahead and try bang, bangs. But the colors, it's hard to tell how dark some of these browns are going to be. And this is way too dark for bangs for me. And I don't know why they don't have more variety in the bang colors like they do with the wigs. But I thought I'd try it out. This was, what color is this? Well, it says dark brown, but I don't, I don't think I felt like it was going to be this dark. Um, <laughs> so... Now, it's, it's not a bad um, length. It's just a bad color for me, right? And <laughs> a really bad color. So now if I were wearing my hair down, should I do that? Should I take this ponytail out? And see how it would look. So yeah, I need a lighter color if I'm going to have any hope in actually wearing this with my real hair. This one also came with like whatever you call, I think they called them sideburns. Oh, it's got a lot more sideburns on this side than it has on this side. Well, of course. But anyway, if it were a, a decent color that sort of matched, I could get away with it, but I won't, I won't be wearing this. Anyway, I think I've ordered a few of these. Hopefully some of them are a little bit different. But yeah, I would I would try. I haven't found any of these in gray. So if you happen to be if you happen to be surfing in Timu and you see a gray one of these with a headband, let me know or send me the link. Um I kind of I kind of uh well, this doesn't look good since it's been in a ponytail all day. But yeah, look how light it is in here. And this is where you can see all the hair breakage. This white, this white gray hair just really has no strength to it. Because 
my length is all brown. But, um, yeah, so it's just because I'm not willing to go color my hair, it is um, a struggle. But, yeah, this one's not cut very well. I mean, it's probably better to have more on this side, but this really doesn't have enough. So, and because I don't have bangs, it's maybe a little bit weird. But if you did have bangs, like this is just wispy, wispy nonsense with cowlicks kind of going on here. You'd, ha you'd have to really kind of play with this to make this look good if it, if it did match. Now, if you are somebody that colors your hair and you found one of these things that you really liked, well then take it to your hairdresser and say, hey, make my hair match that. I don't know if you can color these. Like if you already color your hair, I don't know if you could, well, you probably wouldn't want to get, you wouldn't want to get a, um, a dark one if you were going to try to color it to match your hair, but yeah. Uh, see, this is why I'm always wearing my hair in ponytails anymore because this whole band here is thin and gray and short. I can't even stand it. And it's all been, it's like been worse or I've felt worse about it since I had my last haircut. Like it was okay. I could, it, it would be okay sometimes. I can't find my hair ponytail thing so I guess we'll have to just end the end this video with this crazy mess but um yeah I don't know really probably should color my hair because I'm only 48 but I don't want to do more damage to my hair I don't know and I like how it looks when it's in a ponytail heck did I do with that? Where did it go? Where Did you see where I put it? Oh, well. Oh, there it is. But, yeah, I mean, so that's a miss. And none of my kids have hair, dark, dark hair like that, so I may just return it. Although it probably didn't cost very much. And I could get my hair just cut shorter in general, but I have such an animosity with short hair. Even though when I pull it back, it looks like I have short hair anyway. It's not. Like, I spent so much time as a kid with short hair that I just can't. Ugh. I just can't. <laughs> it scarred me for life. <laughs> All right, so that. <coughs> Hang on a second. I paid two forty eight for that headband. I got two price adjustments, and it's currently two nineteen. It says it's available in three colors, but it's black, ginger colored, and dark brown. So I could pair it with, if I got the ginger one, it would probably go with that ginger wig I got. And I could pair them together and then maybe make that work, but that's too much effort. But it is a twist braid headband with bangs, short, straight, synthetic hair bangs with hair hoop hair accessories. But when you look at this picture, it looks more um, tapered than it is in real life. Like in real, well, I guess if you kind of hold it like this, it sort of looks tapered. But when it was on me, it was not. It was very straight and then there was very little tapering. I mean, there is tapering, but it just didn't look very 
It looked pretty harsh. So, yeah, and it's weird. It's got, it's got this, it's a net, so you can't put anything through there, but that's kind of how it looks to give it, I don't know, body, whatever. Yep, so there's that. So I will be showing another one that, so this one said it was six inch. I'll be showing a four inch one in another video that I hope is not that dark, but it's still gonna be too dark for me. I mean, I don't know why I keep trying to find something to go with my natural hair. There is no, there is no, nobody is doing a white gray to brown to mousy brown that is not a look anybody tries to get <sighs> all right last but not least is another one of these another one of these um flannel jobs oh well this is not quite the same this one has a belt but this, doesn't this remind you of the 70s men that would wear their um, suit coats or sports jackets like this with the patches on the leather patches on the arms? I mean, this brown reminds me of that more so than the red one that I showed on here. But anyway, it is again a sleeveless a sleeveless one with the exception that it's got a belt so that'll make it at least at least it won't look like I just bought one of every color of the exact same thing which I do tend to do but it's a it's a really it's just it's like the other one it's a really soft flannel but this is the canvasy side And I paid eleven twenty four. It is really cute on the model. It comes in sizes one XL to five XL. It's currently thirteen seventy eight. It's an elegant plus size plaid vest for women with belt, polyester lapel collar, sleeveless weave top for work and casual wear. I don't have any brown top. I don't think I have any brown toppers yet because I really don't like brown. So why did I buy this? I don't know because it looked really good on the model. So I'll probably have to wear it with my black toppers. But here, here's how it looks on her. Isn't that cute? And I've got a black shirt that I can wear under it and black leggings. And I could probably go to a store and get some coffee so I can carry coffee like her. That's for watching Castle. I've told you guys this. We're watching through Castle, and it's funny because they're always going to crime scenes holding fake Starbucks. And I'm like, really? You're going to a crime scene? Why are you always carrying coffee? Like, isn't that in the way? Because then, you know, what are you going to do with that while you're looking at your crime scene? But yeah, I think that's... And here's what it looks like. I don't know why you wouldn't tie it together. Like, I don't know why you would wear it like this. Because it's so much cuter like this, in my opinion. So, but yeah, I don't like brown, but I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute. Maybe Pear has some brown plaid toppers. That's going a bit too far. No, it's not. It's not. I have the buffalo plaid ones and I have the white and black plaid ones. Why not? I even, I think, have some orange and black plaid ones. All right, folks, that brings us to the end of this episode. I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure I didn't cover anything up. Yeah, I didn't cover anything up. So that brings us to the end. I am so thankful that you chose to spend some of your precious time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you will consider, if you enjoyed this video, giving me a thumbs up uh, just so that YouTube knows that other people might enjoy this as well. And 
I, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy doing this. I mean, it is a lot of same old, same old, but like, like I said, it's, it's a chance to talk and share things with people that maybe have similar interests because nobody in my family cares about Timu. None of my friends care about Timu. So it's nice to have just people like-minded hobbyists or, you know, that's kind of what it is for me, right, as a hobby. But I don't know. I have aspirations to be on QVC. No, I don't. I really don't. That would be like super stressful. But, um, but yeah, so I appreciate, I appreciate everything that you do that supports this channel. So thank you. So wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. And until we meet again, take care of yourself. Bye.